Analytics with Max. In this video, we're going to see about how to implement row level security or RLS in SSA Stabler model. This is most requ requested video in the SSA's comments. You are familiar with how to implement security in Power BI, but when it comes to SSA's, it is a little tricky and you need to write some tags. Let us check it out in this video how you can implement it. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. Let's check it out in the demo. Now, before going to look into the model, let me explain the two tables. And here you have a user access region where user can able to see different regions. So for Nagendra, you can see there are five regions along with two. So seven regions you can able to see. For power demo, he can able to see six regions. So what are those regions? So he can see from one to six, and Nagendra can see from one to five and seven eight. So these are the different regions over here. So one to six means the demo power. The demo power demo can see the two countries, United States and Canada, and whereas Nagendra can see one to five and seven eight, France and Germany. But for uh, you need to understand the fact like in SSAS security Windows security the user the user who should I mean unlike um, the SQL server authentication you the SSAS works closely with Windows security user can able to use his Windows authentication only that is the thumb point I want to make the first point I will tell you why I am saying this and with this note let's begin now we have this model uh the fact internet sales and dim product and you see the typical star schema surrounded by dimensions now we have imported this user access region where we found like two users accessing different regions there can be many reason i mean many uh, users with different regions okay that is why this row level security works perfectly all right irrespective of how many users different regions he changes right so you keep adding the users and the respective regions over here and one more thing is i want to highlight is like the security you need to apply at the granular level here the security at the region level so you are applying this territory key and whereas if you want to apply the country level or territory level you need to give all the territory keys you cannot directly link to country as we used to do in the power bi in power bi what will happen is like in the user access region table you can keep the country name here then you can apply the security because you can have a uh, many to many relationship in their uh, relationship tab whereas in case of ssis you need to give the lowest level when you want to give access to uh, united states then you need to give all these three five regions belongs to united states that is what i want to make another point here now with this note let's try to do the analysis here now once you import uh, the user access region then you give uh, uh, rights here i mean one to uh, many relationship for dim sales territory then go here with our new roles right you need to create a role and add those users in that specific role and create some dax function i have already created a role here like region role and i will demonstrate once again for you so so i'm creating a new role here that is a test role and uh, we need to give it as a read since whoever uh, this is purely based on role so the particular role user can have able to read or write those things we can see now going back to what things we need to configure here is like for those tables we need to get this formula in the dim sales territory the sales territory key to be filtered and in this the lookup value function is used along with the username you can see here 
the user access region dot username is mapped with whoever logs in using a username function. Then the sales territory key from the user region is filtered using this uh, lookup function. So usually we are getting the sales territory key from the user access region and for that user right and we will filter it in the dim sales territory key that is the logic we need to have we will copy this code you need to take a snapshot if you want take the copy of this code and for your table you need to modify accordingly based on the table so in this role go to this dim sales territory then just paste this code i will share this code in the description as well so just put it here we will try to expand this a uh, little bit better then put it here so now you can see this code lookup and username these are the two dax functions used to filter it and in your case you need to appropriately change your case the user access region is no more required and set this uh, property to false here if a else false of function that's it these are the two configurations you create a rule read access then these are the two dax functions you need to use in the members you need to add those members manually this is another important step that you should aware of so whoever uh, present in this um, user access you need to manually add those members as i mentioned before power bi i mean the ssas works closely with windows authentication so these windows authentications users are authorized to use this particular queue that is what we are saying so if you have another user you need to add it now i have added power demo i'm not using the nagendra because he's the admin the admin users no need to add right so he has a full access if you have some other users you can add it so now we have created this test role we don't need of any uh, this role anymore because i already have this region role for you that is for this demo i've created this role so just delete it so whatever steps we have done i have done it using region role already here so no need to have two roles again so this is the thing you need to know so we have created this role now let us go and uh, deploy this um, solution in the uh, dashboard i mean uh, server once it is deployed we can go ahead and check the data so for that i'm not going for power bi in this case i will go for um, excel let's go and uh, check it out in excel once you go to this you can um, navigate to data then get data in this from uh, database you need to connect to uh, the analysis service so data get data from database analysis services and provide your the server name so in this server we have um, got the uh, server so to get the server name just connect on the service and get this name so this is the easy way to get the server name just paste it here then use different user because windows user i'm admin user when i log in using windows it will be admin so i'm using different user here that is why i went to excel now so just use this one then provide the password so once you connected here and uh, in the next step you choose the respective cube name right here you need to select the database exactly right so and it is saying uh, the warning it is already connected if yes you click on yes then use the um, the measure i already uh, connected this so that's what the measure uh, one of the measure created that is sales so let us try to get the um, uh, location i mean now i put the sales territory key now i what i will do i will try to update uh, some more territory for this uh, power bi demo user and we will try to 
refresh the cube once again and check this is how easily you can manage now the user has only the united states access let us try to update it then we will um, go for um, processing it so that we will check the rls the dynamic uh, role level security is working perfectly all right with a couple of changes now we have updated the uh, record now we we go and um, process the cube there are different ways to process i'm using uh, the uh, i went to uh, ssms and process full so that this will be effective it is there uh, as i mentioned there are uh, various way to uh, process the cube you can redeploy it but once you deploy it this is the way you need to process the cube you can see once it is refreshed uh, there are um, other countries the power bi demo user got access to so this is the simple way to achieve your rls in ssas if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset